last decade alone. January 24th, 2004, Timothy Stansberry, Brooklyn, New York, unarmed. November 25th, 2006, Sean Bell, Queens, New York, unarmed. January 1, 2009, Oscar Grant, Oakland, California, unarmed. January 29th, 2010, Aaron Campbell, Portland, Oregon, unarmed. July 18th, 2011, Alonzo Ashley, Denver, Colorado, unarmed. March 7th, 2012, Wendell Allen, New Orleans, Louisiana, unarmed. September 14th, 2013, Jonathan Farrell, Charlotte, North Carolina, unarmed. July 17th, 2014, Eric Garner, Staten Island, New York, unarmed. August 9th, 2014, Michael Brown, Ferguson, Missouri, unarmed. In the past decade alone, these men and hundreds of others have lost their lives to police. Local police report to the FBI, killing at least 400 people a year. From 2006 to 2012, a white police officer killed a black person at least twice a week in this country. Which brings us back to Ferguson, Missouri. According to a report in the Daily Beast, in 2009, police officers charged a man for property damage because he bled on their uniforms while they arrested him and allegedly beat him bloody. Ferguson, Missouri, where it took six days to release the name of an officer who shot an unarmed teenager to death. Ferguson, Missouri, where police released images of someone who might be Michael Brown involved in a store robbery and then hours later said the robbery had nothing to do with why Michael Brown was stopped by the police officer who killed him. Ferguson is just outside St. Louis, Missouri, the place where, as historian Blair Kelly reminded us this week in The Root, Dred Scott sued for his freedom on the grounds that he and his wife had for three years, had for many years, lived in a free state. His case eventually went to the Supreme Court, and in 1857, Chief Justice Roger Taney declared that Scott had no right to sue because, as a black man, he was never intended to be an American. Speaking on the clause in the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal, Taney wrote, quote, it is too clear for dispute that the enslaved African race were not intended to be included and formed no part of the people who framed and adopted this declaration. And he went on to say that black men had no rights, which the white man was bound to respect. No rights, which the white man was bound to respect. No rights, which the white man was bound to respect. No rights, which the white man was bound to respect.
Patty, come on. I need your help in the shed. Come on. Get back to work. Cecil, come back here, boy. Come on! Come here. Look at me, boy. Don't you lose your temper with that man. This is world. We just living in it. You hear me? Now get on back to work. looking at Time's up. 